Understanding the phrase, to be two-faced. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, to be two-faced. This phrase often pops up in everyday conversations, books, and movies, so it's a great addition to your English vocabulary. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how to use it correctly. Stay tuned. To be two-faced is an idiomatic expression used to describe someone who is deceitful or insincere. It refers to a person who presents one personality or set of opinions in certain situations, and a completely different one in others. Think of it as someone wearing a mask, showing one face to some people and a different face to others. This phrase has a negative connotation and is often used to describe dishonesty in relationships or personal interactions. The phrase, two-faced, is believed to have its roots in Roman mythology, specifically in the character of Janus, the god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, duality, and endings. Janus is usually depicted as having two faces, each looking in opposite directions. This imagery perfectly captures the essence of someone who is two-faced. They look and act differently depending on their audience or situation. Let's see how to use this phrase in real-life conversations or writing. 1. Negative context. I don't trust her. She's been two-faced about the whole situation. 2. Observational context. It's disheartening to see how two-faced people can be when they want something. 3. Reflective context. Looking back, I realize how two-faced I was in handling those friendships. These examples show how the phrase can express distrust, disappointment, or self-reflection about deceitful behavior. When using, to be two-faced, avoid these common errors. Don't confuse it with physical descriptions. It's about character, not appearance. Context matters. Use it in situations involving deceit or insincerity, not just simple changes in opinion. Be sensitive. Accusing someone of being two-faced is a strong statement and can be offensive. Understanding idiomatic expressions like, to be two-faced, can add depth to your English comprehension and conversations. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase. Remember, English is a language rich in expressions that reflect human behavior and society. Keep learning and exploring! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Happy learning!